Hi, Alliance. Thanks for joining me for another lesson. We are going to continue learning about the six syllable types to help us to read multisyllabic words and spell multisyllabic words. Okay, let's get started. We're going to review the sounds that we've learned so far. Remember, this was our new sound from yesterday, and it can make two sounds, like in moon or book. So the first sound is like in moon. So it is ooh. Together, ooh. Your turn. Good. The second sound is like in book. So that would be uh. Together, uh. Your turn. Good job. And this is a vowel pair. And it's a special kind of vowel pair called a diphthong. Okay, let's look here. This also is another vowel pair. Now, Usually, when two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking, but usually, because in this case, that's not what happens. Here we have O, oh, together, O, oh, your turn, good. That is like the sound of the open door. A, together, A, your turn. And what syllable type is this, lions? You're right, this is a silent E syllable. A silent E syllable is when there's an E at the end of a syllable and it's silent, but it helps the first vowel to make a long vowel sound. Okay, this makes two sounds as well. The first sound is ow, together, ow. Your turn, good. The second sound is O, oh. together, O. Oh. Your turn. Good. Nice job, Lions. Okay, here is one of our R-controlled vowels. When you have an R-controlled vowel, it's an R-controlled syllable. Some people call it the bossy R because the R takes over the vowel sound. So this one, if you remember, says er. Together, er. Your turn. Good. There are three different ways to make the er sound, and we have it listed right there. Here's a second way. Er, together, er. Your turn. This, of course, is another R-controlled syllable. Okay, and remember C says k or s, and it makes a s sound if it's before an E, I, or Y. So this says s, together, s, your turn. Good job. Like in the word city. We have two vowels. So this is a vowel pair. And remember, when two vowels go a walking, usually the first one does the talking. So that would mean the first vowel is long. So this, and the second one is silent. So this is A. Together, A. Your turn. Just like the acorn, we know of three different ways to make the long A sound. K, together, k, your turn, good. K, together, k, your turn. O, together, O, your turn. What syllable type is this, lions? Yes, it is a silent E syllable. Because we have the silent E at the end that helps the first vowel make a long vowel sound. And if you forget this long sound of O, it's just like the open door. E, together, E, your turn. This is another silent E syllable, and it makes the sound of the eagle. Here's one of our, what syllable type is this? R controlled. Anytime you have the R after the vowel, it's an R controlled vowel. And this one is like in the sound in the short fork. This says or, together, or. Your turn. I always found this R controlled syllable a little bit easier to remember because it actually makes the word or. <laughs> Do you like shrimp or lobster? And the answer is both. This is er, together, er, your turn. That's the third way to make the er sound. Another one of our R controlled vowels. Oh, and here's another one. This is R, together, R, your turn. Just like the art car. 
E, together, E, your turn. What syllable type is this, lions? Yes, it is a vowel pair because it is two vowels and a pair is two. Together, s, your turn. Good. I, together, I, your turn. What syllable type is this? Silent E, because we have the E at the end, the silent, that helps the first vowel make its long vowel sound. And this sound is like ice. K, together, k, your turn. S, together, s. Your turn. A, together. A, your turn. And this is another one of our vowel pairs. We know that Y sometimes acts as a vowel. So sometimes it's a consonant and sometimes it's acting as a vowel. And this makes the long A sound like acorn. We know of three ways to make the long A sound. Okay, let's look, what syllable type is this? Yes, it's a silent E syllable. And remember, long U can make two vowel sounds. The first sound, U, like unicorn. Together, U, your turn. And the second sound is U, together, U, your turn. And last but not least, this is E, together, E, your turn. What syllable type is this? A vowel pair. When two vowels go a walking, usually the first one does the talking. So that's why this says E. The A is a helping vowel, and it helps the first vowel make its long vowel sound. So E, like the eagle. Okay, let's practice those sounds in words. Okay, let's take a look. Well, we know O-W can say ow or it can say O. So when we don't know, we just try both ways and see what makes sense. So let's try O first. sk o skull. I don't know what a skull is, so we'll try ow. Here we go. sk owl scowl. A scowl is when you make an angry face. Scowl. So I hope nobody scowls at you. <laughs> Let's look here. Let's try the O sound first because OW says O or it says OW. Crow. Crow. A crow is a type of bird. Now here we have, and you notice I always go immediately to the vowels. That's what we need to do because we need to find out the vowel sound if it's long, short, R controlled, whatever it might be. So I see O, A. So that is a vowel pair because it's two vowels together. And so I know when the O and A are together, the A is silent, but it's helping the O make its long sound. It's an example of when two vowels go walking. Usually the first one does the talking. So let's read this with a long O. Throat throat. Now we have A and then up I see an E at the end. So that syllable type is silent E. When you have silent E, the E is silent and it helps this vowel say its name. And you know what? I immediately went down here and see an E at the end. So I know that's a silent E too. So, oh, and look here. I see an E and an E. We have lots of silent E words today, don't we? Okay, so let's go ahead and read. St, ale, stale, stale. So a piece of stale bread is bread that maybe it's been set out and it gets a little bit hard, stale. Makes really good stuffing, if you make homemade stuffing. Okay. Now, we already coded this. This is another silent E syllable. So let's read this with the long O. Here we go. Sp, oak, spoke. She spoke with a clear voice, spoke. Here we have OO. So that's our new sound. Remember OO either says oo 
or uh. So let's try it with oo first. Sp -oon. Spoon. There we go. We don't have to try it the other way. We know what a spoon is. It's a utensil you use for eating. The last two words are, are syllables. So they're not words, they're syllables. And we've already coded them. We saw in both of these final two syllables, there's an E at the end, which makes it a silent E syllable. When you have the silent E syllable, it makes the vowel long. So we can read both of these words with a long vowel sound. Plode, plode, like explode. Okay, let's look here, long A. Drail, drail. Good job, lions. Okay, now we are going to work on our morphemic transformations. Remember, a morpheme is the smallest unit in a word that carries meaning. And it is usually prefixes, suffixes. Prefixes are um, parts or morphemes we add to the beginning of a base word that changes its meaning. And a suffix is the part we add to the end of a base word to change its meaning. So the word that we are going to work with today, the base word, is command. A command is an order that you need to follow. Command. Now, I'm going to add the er suffix, commander. Now, a commander, so er means person who or someone who. So that would be a commander is a person who commands, a person who gives an order. All right, let's change the suffix. So let's now make commandment. We're gonna add mint, commandment. So a commandment is something um, something that you follow. So it's an order that you follow. So it is the command. Okay. Now let's add the suffix that means it's happening now. So if it's the suffix that means it's happening now, do you remember what suffix that is? Command ing. Ing means it's happening now. So if someone is commanding something, that means they are telling you to do something right now. I am commanding my boys to wash their dishes. That means I'm telling them right now to do it. Okay. Now I am going to add the past tense suffix, which means it already happened. So can you guess what I'm going to add to the end of command? Commanded. So that means it already happened. This is past tense. So if I commanded that my boys wash their dishes, that means I already told them to do it. So it means it should be done. We'll see after I finish this lesson. <laughs> okay, so do you see how when you can identify a suffix or a prefix, it can help you to understand what a word might be. So it kind of helps you to unlock the meaning of words. Okay, um, we are going to stop here and tomorrow we're gonna pick up by reviewing some sight syllables. I have some new ones to teach you to teach to you. And then we're also gonna take multisyllabic words and break them up into syllables, and then we'll practice spelling. Um, so don't forget the newest sound that we've learned so far is um, the, the OO, and it says oo or uh. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for another lesson.